my camera is probably going to die really soon, so I got to charge it. But I want to explain everything that happened on Monday the 10th. So I was driving back to the house and I was getting everything that I needed for the next coming up videos of like the fall lookbooks and everything else that I need to do. But then a guy ran the red light going 60 miles an hour, I believe. That's what the report said. And I spun, I was like, panda paws because the first thing I remember when I was in driver's ed, never try to control the car if you've been into a car accident because you're just gonna make the situation worse. So I took my legs off the ignition, I mean, yeah, the gas pedal and the brakes. I just took my legs and just relaxed. I've relaxed my whole body. So that's why I feel like I didn't get that hurt. But um, I had a panic attack at the scene. And because I noticed that there was a pregnant woman there. I called her yesterday. She is doing fa fine. Blood pressure is normal. Um, well, no, like as normal as it could be because most pregnant women has high blood pressure. Um, I've been doing exercises because I took, I took my thing off to put, use this. So, uh, sorry. I've been using like the squeezing, like to get my grip back going and I've been doing leg exercises and I just looked up physical therapy things cause I know I'm supposed to be seeing the doctor in like two days to make sure how I improved, but, or probably going to tell me to be in physical therapy, but I'm too hard headed and i want to get better fast <laughs> and yeah so i just want to let you guys know what happened that day the day of the when i had a panic attack i had a woman named tammy vicelli and nicole her daughter they helped me through it and the man he's okay um he was released the same day a couple hours after i think i was the only one that um that was there the latest because I didn't get out of the hospital until like 8 39 o'clock on Monday morning I mean the Monday evening and I got bruises all over the place I'll be showing you guys that and yeah but I'm grateful to be alive and grateful that everything happened because I wouldn't met the people that I did I met one of the girls I was sitting next to me in the turning lane because you know they have a left lane and a right lane to go left to turn on 355 there's two lanes and I met Ashley um, yesterday Ashley Stevens and I met her and she was awesome like she's like are you okay I'm like I, like for me I was worried about everyone else but myself I'm like like don't worry about me like I just want to know if you guys are okay like yeah it was just it was one crazy day and I wanted to record this before I these pills start kicking in because I'm on uh, hydrocodone, which is Norco. Like, hold on, let me cover my address. But yeah, that's what it looks like. And my mom's putting turpentine. I guess it's some old remedy that my grandma told her. Turpentine helps with bruises and I'll again I'll be showing you guys that in a second my pretty much the bottom half of my stomach is black and purple and blue like it's nasty but I'm glad to be alive and I seen my car yesterday and what that was not a pretty my baby was my baby was crying pretty much <laughs> but I'm glad everyone was praying for me like taking this taking the time out you know to you know to take the time out to wonder how I was and everything I got a lot of phone calls the last couple of days I spoke to my best friend Jessica Brendel my other like hot like I call her my sister and um, both M Monique and Jessica I spoke to them my uncle oh, my brother I talked to all of them to make sure because like they literally every single morning I guess when they wake up they make sure I'm okay to make like you know I'm doing okay I'm still walking with a limp, like I'm an old school pimp. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, no, but I am walking with a limp. I'm trying to do my best to walk normal, but it hurts my hips really bad. And, um, 
I'm just ready to get better. Like, that's what I'm doing. And if you see my room, it looks like five tornadoes went in here. And I've been trying to clean up in my room, but messed up my wrist some more. So I think I'm just going to relax, watch some of my recordings, like the covert affairs, uh, the originals, and everything else. But yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know. All right, have a good day. I love you guys. Bye. So I'm on my way to go see my car for the very first time uh, after the accident yesterday. Um, I don't know if you can see part of my wrist. Uh, but yeah, I'm on 355. Same road that I was supposed to be on yesterday when I got into a car accident. Exit right in um, two miles. So this is going to be an experience to see like how it looks. I'm going to take some pictures, record some videos about how it is. And kind of... Um, there is to see like how everything is like to re-experience I guess in a way like you know the whole event like I'm not gonna re-experience it but like you know reminisce on everything happen happening all at once but yeah uh, you know, I'm, well yeah it's coming up to the road right there oh sorry that's my mom right there she's being my chauffeur kind of weird and I don't know if you can tell my hair's in a ponytail she helped me put my hair in a ponytail like which is pretty sad because like I tried doing it by myself and I kind of sh started saying Ugh! started shedding tears which is not fun at all because who wants to cry while putting the hair in a ponytail like nobody but yeah so I'm going to pick up my ID that the police guys took from me in uh, here in Lombard you see? You see all them? So I just got my license back from the police station and the ladies were all like, I recognized you. I'm like, what? They were like, no, your license, your license looked just like you. Very beautiful. I'm like, oh, I feel like shit right now, but thank you. And then she's like, well, at least you're alive and you're walking. Like, you're walking, but slowly you're walking. So you keep on moving. So yeah. And a lot of people were like looking, and then she's like, is that the only place you got hit? Because like, you see the, the scratch across my um, my chest from the seatbelt. And I showed them the big old one that, that around my um, vagina. <laughs> around that part where the bottom part of the seatbelt is. And normally, um, like, you know, like the people in my family and the people that I know don't really wear seatbelts. And I, again... Saving wearing seatbelts saves lives. Let's just put it at that. But now I'm about to go see my car and call the insurance company and get everything that I need to get done to let them know uh, what's going on. And I found out the guy that did it to me that got a ticket, and I just I, I just kind of I kind of want to see how he's doing. And I found out the other lady that got into a car accident with a pregnant woman. The baby's okay, she's okay, like, she was able, she, she didn't get no injuries. I guess I didn't really tap her car, like, it was just a tiny little, you know, hit, but they're all okay. So, yeah, that, that was, like, a relief off of me. So, yeah. So, I'm walking up to my car right now, and, whoa, let me just show you. So, this could have been me if I wasn't wearing my seatbelt. My axle broke. My whole hood, like, I know I had like a good couple of inches, like right here, my whole hood just like crunched. Everything. right now from the inside all of the airbags went off hold on yeah if it wasn't for this and wearing my seatbelt I could have died airbags, all over airbags the place. yeah all over the place Nissan cube is the best car you could probably have or Nissan just period saves on gas saves your lives yeah this you see my 
glass shattered. Like if I like honestly, if I was not wearing my seatbelt, I'm gonna keep on repeating this. If I was not wearing my seatbelt, I would have went through this freaking glass and I would have died. Sorry. Okay, there we go. I, I have OCD when it comes to the wiper blades. <laughs> Even when my car is messed up, I still want it to be okay. <laughs> oh, my baby. Yep. And I just met the uh, other woman that was in a car accident with me. Her name. And her mother. Yeah. Sorry, Mom. I don't mean to have you. Sorry, I have a lot of trash in here, too. Okay. This is the other side of my car yeah you see mm-hmm yeah the man's this is the man's car that hit three cars yesterday this is a Toyota and they had to use oh no it's hailing over here sorry <laughs> See, this is what his car looks like. He was going like 50, 60 miles an hour. Yep. And if you notice right there, they had to use a case in there to get it open. This is what his car looks like. Let me just say, Nissan is the best company ha to have because inside their seats, every single one of their seats, I'm assuming they have airbags inside the seats. So if there was a someone on the passenger side, like their lives would have been saved no matter what. Like all of my airbags, you see, all of these airbags were released to save my life. And if anyone was in this car, they would have been at, uh, probably bruised up as much as I am. But their lives would have been saved. You see? This is just from the glass. We're right now cleaning out everything that's inside my vehicle. I am helping, I promise. I'm not making my mom do everything. <laughs> right, mom? Uh-huh. Whatever you say. <laughs> I love you. I love you too, for now. You always love me. So I just seen my car. It's freezing outside. Um, again, that's what it looks like. You see it? It's my baby. The battery's gonna die because the moment I opened it, it was like ringing. So like, because my passenger side door won't close. And I tried my best to close it. Because I think it's because I ripped my door open to get everything that I need, my insurance, everything that, to identify who I was. Because if, if I were to be unconscious, I would want someone to go through my stuff, like my purse, to find out who I was. You know what I mean? So yeah, it was very real when I seen my car this morning because I wasn't able to know what it was yesterday because I was not functioning correctly and my mother and me just cleaned out my car like everything all every all the guts of my car is spilled out <laughs> like for real so now we're gonna go back home call Geico um see what's going on what they could do or if they could do anything because it looks yeah my axle I, i'm looking at my axle right now and it's like out <laughs> and yeah and i gotta find out if i still have to make payments on that vehicle <laughs> because ain't no trying to pay for a freaking car that they can't drive all right so i just want to let you know Bye. what's going on Bye, my baby. Love you. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a weirdo. All right.